All right, hello Clear Fork High School. Uh, this is Mr. Brown, and uh, since we have uh, some issues with uh, open houses and uh, other things with uh, being able to meet in person and have a you know uh, an actual presence, uh, we're going to do some series of videos, and this is going to be the first video, and it's just kind of the nickel tour of the high school and a few facts, and this is mainly for the new students and also the uh, incoming freshmen. So I'm standing outside the high school and we're gonna walk through a typical day. Uh, first of all, for those of you that uh, don't know the name of our horse, uh, its name is Grant. It was named after Grant Reed, uh, a former student here at Clear Fork High School. So that's a little bit of history that you need to know. Okay, when you arrive in the morning, if you are coming here by way of car being dropped off out front, uh, we have to do a health assessment once you get here. So once you enter in through the doors and you come into this front foyer area, right in this section here, uh, you're gonna be greeted by Mr. Ramian, uh, myself, uh, probably some other office personnel, and uh, we're gonna take your temperature and we're gonna ask you a few questions about uh, if you're exhibiting any symptoms uh, as it relates to the COVID-19. Uh, during that time, <clears throat> uh, during that time, uh, you can further any conversation with us and any questions. We'll give you clarifications, especially in this first week. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on and there's going to be a lot of questions. Uh, we don't even know what we don't know yet at this point. So once you're here and we are asking everybody and we know it's an incredibly polarizing topic, uh, but with masks and things of that nature, we uh, are asking that you please uh, you know, wear a mask when you're in the hallways uh, or when you're in these uh, community settings like this. Once we get to the classroom, if we can get distanced, if uh, we can do some things to ensure uh, each other's safety as well as our own, then uh, maybe we can uh, take the masks off for, for that class, okay? But, but that remains to be seen a little bit more uh, with the classes themselves and the teacher and the topic and, and how that's gonna be arranged. Okay, you've just taken your health assessment. You've gotten the green light to go ahead and come into the school. Well, uh, normally we would sit here and you could wait and uh, you could uh, have maybe some breakfast with your friends. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's not the way it's gonna be. Uh, by the way, the entrance to the school, that will open up at 7.15, okay? So for those students, uh, if you are here early, uh, we're gonna ask that you need to wait out in your car. Uh, you may be able to get in the front foyer area if you are dropped off and you can hang out uh, and get out of the weather. But anyhow, once you're in the, the building and you come through here, you're gonna be able to pick up your breakfast if you so choose, okay? If you, wanna, if you ate prior to coming to school, you don't need to worry about that. But if you are one that uh, enjoys, enjoys the fine dining here at school, uh, you'll come in You'll get your breakfast, it's a grab and go style, and then you'll proceed to your classroom. Now we'll have a lot of uh, talks about understanding your schedule this year, and that will be a separate video in itself. Right now, we're just gonna keep walking through the school. Okay, so you've now, you're healthy, you can come to school, you've picked up your breakfast, you know, you're ready to go. And depending upon which class you're in, that is where you will, you will report directly to, okay? So for a lot of the, uh, the, the incoming freshmen, you're vaguely familiar with what we got going on here in the school, okay? If you are in a ag class, it is down this hallway here, and we have two new teachers this year. We have a Mr. Gates and we have a Mrs. Lutz, I'm sorry, a Miss Lutz, and then also Mr. Staley. So this is where you'll come down here for the welding, uh, the animal and vet science, VOAG, Vo, VOAG 1, VOAG 2, and then of course we have our shop areas down here as well. As we continue on, <clears throat> I think it's important also for all students to have a little bit of understanding of Clear Fork High School. And I'm going to point out something here in just a moment. Uh, down here is art. Uh, this is in the very corner of this back hallway of our tech wing. Now, as you can see, there is a definite difference in flooring. If you look at 
this floor. This is uh, uh, the original flooring from the 1964 building. You come here when they did the addition, finished in 1989. That's what they did. We got pink. I have no explanation for that. Uh, but that is in the hallway and that is down the science hallway here. So we do have science now. For those of you that have been here and uh, you know who Mrs. Wright is, she is now down there where Mr. LaPlante is and Mr. LaPlante moved his classroom down here. So they did swap classrooms, okay? Now this middle hallway, uh, this is where uh, the intervention specialists are and also your foreign language. So if you're taking Spanish, French, or one of those classes, this is where you are. Now this hallway here also has some of the class composites over the various years. Uh, we're not gonna walk down that way. We're gonna continue our journey down this way. <clears throat> okay, so as I said, uh, this is the science wing and we are now looking at the English hallway. Okay, as we move down through here, uh, no changes uh, with any personnel in this hallway. Uh, we do have the computer lab. This is where you'll be able to uh, come down if you have issues with your Chromebook, uh, if you need tech support with connectivity, anything like that. Uh, as I said before, this is the English hallway and we have uh, Mrs. Golden right back here. We have Miss Keating. Well, and then this is Miss Kacherik. So if you have sewing, family consumer science, uh, any of the food classes, this will be your reporting area. She actually has two rooms. It's this one, and then there's another one right up here to the right. And this is where her sewing is, okay? Great hands-on classes, great labs. Uh, if you're attending in person, uh, we will ensure that you will get an opportunity to attend these classes in person. <clears throat> and then this is Mrs. Berkey Pyle's room. And then right around the corner here is Mrs. Barry. So all of those people, all of those individuals are the uh, English people with the exception of Ms. Kacherik. And then again, we have uh, this hallway here uh, that runs down and connects all three hallways. And then at this spot right here, this is the very first class, graduating class of Clear Fork High School, 1964, as you can see. And then if you can follow it all the way down through here. So those of you that have been longtime members, community members <clears throat> of the Valley, you can go back and you might find some grandparents there. Now we do have a couple uh, pictures like this that are posted in the uh, corridors. Those were donated by uh, an alliance of churches uh, when the school was first completed. So those were gifts and it's, I can't, don't exactly remember the names of the churches, but they did donate those back at the time of the school's completion. Okay, upstairs. We are now in a couple new places. Uh, this will be replacing Mr. Maurer is Mr. Belcher. He is a new teacher and he will be joining us this year. <clears throat> Mr. Deckling also left us. He went to the Career Center. Uh, so we have a Mrs. Tucker. She will be teaching uh, some geometry as well as uh, calculus and some of the college classes. And this is where Mrs. Miss Ludwig's room was and still is. Congratulations to Miss Ludwig. She is now Mrs. Smith. Mr. Hahn will return and his class is still here and he's still an Ohio State fan. As well as Mr. Kennedy will be back. And these are social study rooms at this point. Uh, Mr. McCorkle, uh, Mr. Riefel's room, and then Mr. Eckelberger's room down here at the end. He teach the, teaches the uh, American history government and also our college class for history. The school is incredibly simple in its setup. It's just three basic hallways downstairs and one upstairs. 
Uh, we do have some shared uh, facilities, uh, that being the cafeteria, the band room, the choir room, and of course the multimedia center or the library. So we've kind of done a full loop. We're coming back down through the English hallway. <clears throat> and we're coming to this hallway here. Uh, this was part of the addition done in 1999. Um, so the same people that put down the pink tile also created this hallway. Now it does have kind of a rather unique slope to it. Uh, it does have three columns, I'm sorry, four columns. Now those columns uh, were the original overhang to the original school in 1964. So all of this that goes into the auditorium, this was an addition. So as I turn around and look, this used to be an entrance to the high school, okay? So all of you should be familiar with the media center. It is down that way. And uh, so we're gonna go back this way and walk towards the band room and uh, the choir room. Now, some other very noteworthy things, you know, as I mentioned before about the history of Clear Fork, you can gather a lot from the Hall of Fame. And if you haven't been paying attention, you know, Clear Fork did come from uh, the combination of the villages of Belleville and Butler, quite the rivalry in the day between the Blue Jays and the Bulldogs. And we have a couple varsity coats over here hanging that demonstrate that, as well as you can't see it very good right now because of this table, but the first all Ohio football player, Rick Harris, uh, that's his coat that is hanging up there. <clears throat> and again, here's our outside the gym, the all Ohio wall of various athletes. When you come in the school, if you look immediately to your left, uh, you can see our uh, all academic Hall of Fame individuals. Okay, to the gym, the Les Hauenstein gym, um, named after obviously Les Hauenstein, had an, was an incredible, incredibly successful girls basketball coach in the 80s. And of course, this is where the PE classrooms are. Now coming in this year, obviously, this whole COVID-19 has turned everything upside down. And it includes what, even what we do for gym classes. So gym classes at this time, you will not be required to change, but you will be required to have proper footwear. And that'll all be covered once you come in here. We do have scheduled pickups scheduled for, uh, for those individuals that will be attending in person. That will be the 25th and 26th of August here at the high school. You can go to the webpage and see what time for those. Uh, for those individuals and what classes we'll be having done at that time. The uh, students that have elected to do remote learning and learn from home, uh, we're going to do a special day. That's going to be the 27th, next Thursday. And the reason being we're doing that is because we're going to have things laid out a little different because you're going to be required to pick up your books early. Other students, they can receive their books in class. But you're going to need to pick up maybe some syllabi and books prior to the start of the day. You know, the best thing we can do in this situation is uh, for all of us to continue to, to just kind of follow some proper safety guidelines. Uh, we are gonna be doing things incredibly different, everything from uh, the restrooms. And uh, I'm gonna choose to talk to you. I'm not gonna talk, talk at you. So you have questions you have concerns, you're always free to come and talk with Mr. Ramian or myself. You know, we welcome that opportunity. And here's our athletic hall of fame, our acad I'm sorry, <laughs> our academic hall of fame. So you're always welcome to come and speak with us. Uh, but we do have, like I said, some, a little bit tighter precautions and we're gonna cover some of those. Um, one last thing I was gonna show you, I know what I meant. And that was, as I kept continuing to mention, some of the history of Clear Fork. People walk by this all the time, every day, and none of them pay any attention to it. But this is part of your legacy. This is part of what you are. This talks about when 
all the additions and the board members and those types of things were completed uh, here at Clear Fork. So uh, it's always kind of nice to know what those are and, and uh, when you walk by them, maybe just give them a second glance. So at this point, I am going to conclude this video of the tour, the nickel tour of Clear Fork High School. And we are very excited, look forward to the challenges that do lay before us this year. Uh, but it's certainly nothing that we can't handle. Absolutely nothing. Oh, also another point, those columns right there in the cafeteria, that used to be the entrance to the old high school before they did this addition right here, this cafeteria and this gymnasium and this office space. So things were incredibly different back then. So anyhow, thank you for spending uh, the 16 minutes watching this video. Uh, there's more to come, so pay attention, go Colts. And we're gonna be playing sports and we're just gonna be rocking everybody's world this year. And we're gonna show people how to do this with style and how to do it right. So thank you and uh, we'll be seeing you soon.